Hey guys, welcome to our finished house. And I'm excited to share with you guys every room and explain what we upgraded and what came with the house and just share this exciting experience that we're finally here to share our home. I wish Brad wasn't working, but we're still gonna have fun. It's gonna be really impromptu because it's just me filming, so let's have fun and let's go through the house. Before I get started, I am not using any kind of like tripod or anything like that. This is a very impromptu house tour because that's sort of the style of vlogging that we do anyways and I don't do any fancy editing, that kind of stuff. That's just not me. Not to say that I would never do that down the road, but for right now, and sorry the echo is so crazy in here. Um, but for right now, it's just me holding the camera, sharing with you guys, sharing our house with you guys, and just very, very excited. And it's definitely gonna be really echoey because there's nothing in here except for a rug, which you guys will see in a second. Well, actually, you saw already in the vlog when we did the final blue tape walk, no, the final walk and closing. So today is Thursday, October 21st, 2021. And that's when I'm doing this video for you guys. And let's get started. I'm gonna head outside and share the outside with you guys first and then we'll get to the nitty gritty of the inside of the house. So let's go outside and check out the outside. Here is the front sidewalk when you first walk up to the house. Love our entrance. The outside of the house, we didn't pay for any upgrade except for the facade of the house. So we paid for an extra upgrade for the framing around the window as well as the curved top to the porch area. So that was option B. If it was option A, it would have just been straight across. The pendant light was standard with the house. We didn't upgrade that. It's okay for now. Eventually I'll probably change it, um, but that's the standard. The door handle and everything that was standard with the house. You could have upgraded the handle option, but again, we just kept it because we're planning on doing like a security system. So we figured it may need to get changed out then anyways. So it's my navy blue door, which I'm so happy about. Love it so much. Here's more of an up close view. So normally the framing around the window would have just been like squared off but because we chose option b it gave that curved or arch look to the top so technically the house isn't quite finished because right in this section here where it's tan it needs to get painted that like off-white color yet so it's technically not a finished house tour but you know the paint isn't that big of a deal so i'll definitely share it with you guys once it's finished but this is just basic landscaping. They didn't have any options for any kind of upgraded landscaping feature to the house. If they did, depending on the cost and depending on what it was, we might have gone with that because eventually we do want to change this out. So we have one tree in the front yard here. And then this is the sidewalk leading out to the garage. Probably not the best time of day to do this because the sun's like right in my eyes but so I was just talking about the windows the section here where it's tan and over here that needs to get painted the off-white color yet so it will all tie in together and that was part of the option B which is the arched option for the house so it gives a little bit more character to the house so that's the only thing that needs to be done out here I'll insert a picture of the house once the painting is done because it's supposed to get done um, in the next couple days so by the time this vlog goes up I'll hopefully have a final picture of the house so fingers crossed around this side of the yard there's the small little landscaping area again eventually we're gonna do something with it we just haven't decided 
So back here is our backyard. We have two trees here on the side. And then eventually, hopefully, this will be a pool one day. And then we have this gorgeous view. Eventually, we're hoping the HOA takes care of cleaning this up. If not, we're gonna slowly do it over time ourselves, just so we can sort of trim the trees a little bit higher so that we can have a better view of the water. So that's the back guest bedroom, guest bathroom, Arla and I, and then our bedroom back here. So that's pretty much it for the back of the house, except for this awesome view. I'll bring you guys around the front side, the front side, the right side of the yard. Of course, now the cranes aren't here right now, but you can see they were here. All their little feathers are throughout the yard. It's so cute. So this is just the side of the house, no landscaping or anything, but that's what it is. So I just was standing in front of our double doors. The double doors was the standard option for the house. So there wasn't really any other option for us to choose for the door, but I really love the fact that they're double doors. Maybe down the road, it'd be nice to change them out to have some extra like windows in like maybe those little cubby areas to bring in some more light because this really is the only window besides the screen lanai behind me um, that has light coming into the great room area. But we have this nice little entryway here. Over here to the left when you walk into the house is our den slash office. You could make this into a fifth bedroom or you could have left this just open. So right where you're seeing the outlet there to the right, right about there is where we basically put a wall up and added two double doors to enclose it to make an extra room. On the original design, this would have just been left open, but we wanted to have that additional room for privacy and just for separating the rooms a little bit more. So we chose to do two double doors. Obviously to enclose this, this was an extra cost to do the wall and to do the doors. There were several options for the doors. We decided to just go with the simple basic doors because it was the cheapest option at the time of our design center appointment. And we can always change them in the future, which I think we will because we would like to bring in more light from the front window into the great room, just like we talked, well, I talked about with our doors here. So that's a down the road project, but for right now, like totally fine how they are. We probably will end up keeping them open most times anyways. So that's the plan. So in here is really bright and because we have like two double windows right up front here, which I love. And I can't wait to put one of our Christmas trees up front here in the window. So also in the den besides like our office things, um, with the sleeper sofa, it's gonna be an extra space for when friends and family come to visit if we have, you know, a lot of people coming at one time, which sometimes it may happen to be that way, especially if my mom and dad come and my sister and my, nep my nephew and my other nephew and his fiance. So it's, you know, one of those things that we just wanted to do that to have extra space because we're in sunny Florida, people wanna come visit, right? <laughs> um, so nothing really else to talk about in this room. We didn't really do anything extra in here as far as like the walls and stuff. The only thing that we did pay for was the addition up here. So this room just came as is. There was no light fixture or anything like that. So we paid for a light hookup as well as a ceiling fan hookup. So that's why there's three switches here. Um, one for one of the outlets, one for the ceiling fan eventually, and one for the light fixture. So besides the addition to closing this in and paying for that light fixture up above, which is right there, <laughs> uh, that's the only upgrades that we did as far as this room. Before I start talking about the great room, um, I should mention that we did upgrade the flooring in basically the entire house 
except for the bedrooms. So you'll see in the bedrooms we just have carpet, but everywhere throughout the house is the vinyl plank flooring and it's all the same color. So that was definitely an upgrade. The majority of non-wet areas like bathrooms and kitchens and laundry rooms, all of that was carpet. So of course, we didn't really want carpet. I think that right here might have been either tiles or just laminate, not the vinyl planks. So that was definitely an upgrade. So I just wanted to make sure I mentioned that. In the front room here, I also forgot to mention, this is just the standard light fixture that comes with the house. We didn't pay for any additional upgrades for this but I believe there was an option. If I'm wrong, I'll make sure to put in a comment that I was wrong. So this is our great room. I'm standing by the front door and we love how open it is. We really wanted a kitchen island off to the right, but we still sort of get that experience and it will be a little bit easier to see once I get to the kitchen part of the tour. But originally, and again, if you've been following us for a while, you would have known that we basically removed a wall, which was an arched wall, that started basically right where the archway goes into the hallway. There was a wall that divided the front area here, as well as the dining room and the den off to the side that enclosed sort of the living room back. It was an archway, we just feel like it opened up the space to make it much more inviting to us and that's just sort of the vibe that we were looking for. So even though we took down a wall, it did cost an additional amount to remove the wall, which seems pretty ironic, but obviously it was a change in the plans. So we did do that. That's one of the upgrades that we did in here. Over to the right is technically our dining area but we are thinking still not sure 100 percent if we're going to make this a dining room or if we're going to make this a little seating area i have a feeling it will still be the seating area which we've been talking about for a while and if so we're going to either just hang this up a little bit higher for the time being or find a light fixture and place it out once we decide what we're doing. Just because if it is a seating area, I don't really love this lighting fixture because this is what came standard with the house and we didn't pay for an upgrade for this one. So if we do the seating area and we can't find a light fixture that we like, we're just gonna hang it a little bit higher to make it less likely to hit your head when you're in that area in the house. So looking this way, this is the living room. So I'm standing about right about where the wall would have been. And then this whole section up here would have been open. Again, the den would have been open as well. And that's sort of our reason. Since we took this down, we wanted to sort of enclose that off just to sort of have not so much open space. Over here, we're planning on putting our TV entertainment area, that kind of thing. Our sectional is gonna go right here. This is the rug that we um, chose to put underneath the sectional. We hope it's gonna look good once the sectional comes. We did pay for this additional outlet here, so I forgot to mention that a little earlier. Um, that was not there because the wall would not have been there previously. So that's the only other addition as far as electric things along the baseboards. We did pay for these two light fixtures above the living room area. Originally, with the plan, it didn't have any lights. It just had that middle little circle where a ceiling fan light fixture would go. But we wanted to add some additional lighting in here, especially since we took down that wall. Then looking straight back is our lanai, which I'll get to a little bit later. This section here to the right is our cafe nook. So this section, we're having a little difficulty trying to find a table to fit because of where the light fixture is placed. 
This light fixture again was standard. We did an upgrade because we didn't want to um, pay an additional cost. I think what we're gonna eventually do is take that light fixture down completely and just put in one of the can light fixtures so that we can center the table a little bit better here because it will just be easier to walk around on both sides. So that's sort of what's happening with that for right now. That's sort of why we're leaning back and forth as to whether or not to do that. I think it's gonna be a better option for us just to do the can light, switch out the fixture, and be able to put whatever table we wanna put here because we really don't need like a huge dining room and we don't really need like an extra dining space. So like if we have this plus our like semi kitchen island, it'll be plenty of seating for when friends and family come over. We don't really need a formal dining room area, so that's sort of like our hesitation going back and forth. So let's get back to the tour though. Then we come to our kitchen. Oh my goodness. So about the kitchen, really quick. I really wanted a kitchen island. However, in this community, there's only so many single story house, houses that had three car garage. And we were really adamant about having a single story house. If you are interested, you can go back to our um, one vlog and I'll insert that here for you guys to go back and listen to some of the reasons why we pick things. Um, but this house was the only option as far as a single story in the square foot range that we wanted as well as the three car garage that allowed you to lower the counter. So the counter originally was a bar height. However, we were able to pay for an additional fee to lower the countertop. So before there would have been like maybe like this far out of a section that would have been raised and it would have, bar it would have been a bar stool height counter. But by lowering the countertop, it gives you that illusion of having a semi kitchen island besides that connecting wall. I love it. I think it's gonna work great. It really invites the space. It opens up the space really nicely. I like that you can, can see into the kitchen completely pretty much except for that little section here. But honestly, like now that we've seen the house and now that we've seen the walls up and everything, I've actually really begun to love having that wall there. It sort of helps not make this space feel too, too open, if that's such a thing, you know? So in the kitchen, we did do a few upgrades, nothing in regards to the lighting. We could have added pendant lights, but we chose not to. Again, we could always do that down the road. We did not upgrade our countertop, so this is just the Wilson Art Calcutta Marble inspired look countertops. It's laminate, but to me and to Brad, it's good enough for right now. Down the road, could we invest in, you know, some sort of um, nicer looking countertops? Sure, but for us, this is like perfect just as is. And we love it. The stove and the microwave and the dishwasher were all included in the house price. You did have the option to pay for a fridge. However, we were able to find a fridge at a better deal and a nicer fridge with more features than cheaper than the cost of what the builder had. So we bought our own, which if you guys have been following us, you would have seen our fridge that we have to go there. As far as other upgrades in the kitchen, I didn't change anything else except for the cabinetry. So the cabinetry, we did add the molding around the top. That was an additional fee. And we also added the couple drawer stacks. So this drawer stack here and this one here, as well as the smaller one, we paid an additional fee to have those drawers put in because if not, it would have just been cabinetry all the way around like over here. And now looking back, to be quite honest, I wish I would have done drawers throughout the entire kitchen but I'm glad I chose the ones that I did because you'll eventually see my plans for these as well as for those. 
And of course, there's our little sign that I made. You guys saw that already. And then our cutting board that's here. You guys saw that already as well. So I'll come back around this way. 